Hi, and welcome back to my NaNoWriMo 2021 vlog. This is going to be part two of this month, basically. So if you wanna see part one, if you wanna see the first half of my NaNoWriMo adventure this year, then definitely go and watch part one before you watch this one. But then come back because we're gonna have a good time with the second half, and I have this funny feeling it's going to be chaotic. I'm not gonna recap part one, obviously, but I will just restate that my goal is writing every day, working on my outline. I have already missed a few days, I'm not gonna lie. I am not a daily writer, typically. I have a full-time job, plus a million bajillion other things that I'm doing, so. Excuses, excuses, excuses. I'm not gonna just list off excuses. Basically, I am doing well. I've just missed a few days. Also, by the way, I got a haircut since my last vlog. This is not like a different year or a different month. This is literally a matter of a few days since I wrapped up my other vlog and I got my hair cut. So this is how I'm celebrating my birthday this year. I've just finished an outlining session this evening. A lot of times I will film these clips right before I start and kind of just say what I'm planning to accomplish. But in this case, I wanted to just kind of get into it because I had no idea, honestly, what I was going to do. <laughs> Obviously, I knew where I left off on my outline from yesterday, but I was not quite sure if I was going to need to go back and fill in some stuff that I kind of left vague. I'm trying to kind of let myself find the outline mostly chronologically because I'm definitely a chronological writer, but occasionally I'll kind of get ahead of myself and start moving forward in the plot. And if I have some really good headway into what happens next, maybe I'll leave a little detail vague. So I kind of thought maybe I was going to start today with kind of filling those in, but it turns out I went back and looked at where I left off in my outline and I saw the notes and I had some ideas. So I just kept moving forward and right now, I actually kind of have a mess <laughs> with my outline. Hi, Bingley. Anyway, I kept moving forward and I kind of made a little bit of a mess because I had a few random notes at the bottom of my outline where every time I would have an idea for something to happen later, but it wasn't quite time, I would just go all the way to the bottom, write it down in a paragraph with like brackets around it or highlight it some weird color. I'm getting really actually disorganized. It's probably gonna stress me out a lot at one point. I'm surprised it's not stressing me out yet, but I'm, I'm cool. So I started taking pieces of those little like bracket sections and highlighted sections and inserting them in my outline in the chapters where I thought it would make sense. And I got so out of whack, like there were some certain things that I thought, okay, this could go here. And then I thought actually no, because this other thing needs to happen in the timeline before this. And I was just like copy pasting chunks of text of things to happen. It is really messy and I have this funny feeling the rest of the month's gonna go like this. I'm just about done with my tea. I am going to probably do an eye mask, but I did not put it on before I started filming like I did last time at the end of my last vlog. Then I am going to go to bed and it's going to be my birthday weekend starting tomorrow. And I do intend on writing on my birthday. That's part of my birthday gift to myself is sticking with my goals. So good night and I will talk to you in just a few seconds on another day of NaNoWriMo. All right, so. It is the penultimate day of NaNoWriMo, and this outline is still chugging along. What a month this has been. It really doesn't help that the last two days of NaNoWriMo are a Monday and a Tuesday. So I'm like, today I had a massive load of work to do, and I had Thanksgiving and Black Friday off last week. So I have all this work, like I logged back into work and I had almost 100 emails just from two days off because a lot of my colleagues do not work in the US, so they were not off, so like all this stuff happened. So I did not get started writing until very late today. I'm in definitely the final stretch of my outline. I am in the probably what I would consider the finale, if not maybe like the break into three, if we're gonna go save the cat beats. I'm like charging right into those final scenes. So I'm so close but I don't know if I'm gonna have the energy to finish it tomorrow because right now I'm looking at the clock. It's getting close to midnight. I have to get up and work tomorrow and I probably should go to bed. I mean, it's going well, all things considered. The only thing that I'm feeling really uncertain about is how I'm tying together some of these strings. I do have a few subplots going and even my main plots because I have two POVs and this is my first time doing a multi POV. I'm a little, skeptical on how I'm tying these in together. This is something I've struggled with the whole draft of like what scenes should be from which character's perspective, especially when the two characters are in the same scene or are I guess learning similar information or there's just a lot of complications that you don't have a single POV that I'm learning. This is my first double POV story and it's really fun. I have no regrets, but I, I mean, I'm positive I would have had this outline done probably midway through November if it had been a single POV. 
honestly that's becoming very evident to me that this is the reason why this is taking me so long so i'll see what i can do tomorrow i will see if i can like push myself through at least a rough outline of how i want the finale and the the wrap up and everything to go if i can at least get kind of bullet points top level stuff then i'll be happy and i'll consider that my outline because there's still stuff i have to to go back and rework in some sections and some scenes anyway so the outline's not done regardless of what i get accomplished tomorrow so if i can just figure out how this story needs to end tomorrow then i'll be happy my cat is telling me that he needs to be played with that's going to be a theme of any time i film something for nano in the evening you'll hear <laughs> especially bingley but sometimes bingley and hamlet are both going crazy because they always get a little spurt of energy before bed so i'm gonna go play with my cats so that I can actually get sleep tonight without them screaming at me all night. <laughs> and we'll see what happens tomorrow. I feel like it's only appropriate that on the last day of NaNoWriMo, my hair decided to do this. <laughs> Don't ask me why, but we're gonna go with it. Because tonight is about my outline, my book. I have already started mulling over some stuff, writing some notes. I actually, while I was washing dishes before coming to this, after logging off of work, I took a little break from my eyes, I washed some dishes, and I was thinking already about my book, and I thought of something that really needs to be a part of my book. Um, that could really kind of pull some stuff together that I wasn't feeling so great about. Cause like I mentioned, I think I did yesterday. Right now I have some themes, some subplots, some stuff happening that I feel like doesn't quite tie together and it needs to. And I thought of a couple of things. One thing that would kind of bring the climactic moment, bring a bit more meaning to it and make it make sense. And also I thought of something else that I'm going to need to go back and work into it. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I'm just gonna make a note and I'll, you know, mull over that a little bit later. What I need to do now is make the ending make sense <laughs> and then i'm gonna call it a night and i will call that a finished outline i have water peppermint tea as usual this is my evening favorite and this time also some root beer randomly i never ever drink root beer actually but i got some um with a friend visiting from france slash germany and she never had root beer before so we bought root beer so i have this sitting in my fridge and i thought you know what Maybe I need the sugar tonight. And if those three things, plus my Spotify music going, plus sleeping and calm cats, if those things all together cannot make for a productive evening, I don't know what would. I am gonna have to wrap this up for the evening. I don't know if I can call what I've written a finished outline. I don't think so. Even a draft, like even a rough draft of an outline, I don't think I can quite call it that. I have some bullet points through the last, um, I guess, few scenes and sort of what needs to happen, but there's so many things left open-ended. There's so many things like questions that I have not answered and I don't have the answers for them right now. What I think I've done is I've done too much. <laughs> As usual, um, the overwriter in me is coming back out. What I need to do is take a step back and look at my story a bit more objectively. What story I'm trying to tell, what's important, the main themes, pluck out the main themes, pluck out the main plot points that I want to be covered. And then once I do that, I think some of the answers that I need here at the end will probably become a little bit more apparent. It's definitely gonna take quite a bit more work. It's not exactly how I wanted to, to wrap up NaNoWriMo, but I got so much done this month. I will wrap up this vlog a little bit more neatly, I think tomorrow with just a very, very quick recap about um, what I've done and I guess maybe where I'm going from here. Hopefully I'll have a bit more energy. I think I managed to channel some energy and, and sound kind of excited right now, but trust me, I am dead. Like I am so tired. <laughs> I will talk to you tomorrow. Okay, NaNoWriMo 2021. I've waited to record this recap until December 2nd, so it's been, I guess, about 36 hours since I recorded that last snippet on the last day of NaNoWriMo, and a lot of the reason for that was because I ended up feeling really bad, actually, at the end of NaNoWriMo, I'll just be completely honest. My first impressions of how the month went 
was actually just disappointment. I did not accomplish my goal. To summarize, my official goal for NaNoWriMo this year was to work on my outline every single day. And yes, I didn't technically accomplish that. I did miss a handful of days here and there. I think it was probably about five overall that I missed, which is not so bad, but that wasn't what was making me feel disappointed. That wasn't what I was so upset about because I actually was upset. What was really bothering me was that I hadn't finished my outline and that was something that I definitely intended to achieve with that daily writing. But I think after the past, you know, couple of days that I have thought about this, I've come to the realization that that wasn't really fair to myself to be thinking about that. Obviously, like, I let myself be upset, you know, you have to feel your feelings. But once I woke up the next morning, I decided I was just going to take a complete break from the project. I wasn't going to think about it yesterday. And I was just going to see how I felt about it today. But it turns out last night, giving myself that entire day to just check out of my project and just not even think about it. I started thinking about it a little bit more and I had a couple of ideas. I wrote some stuff down. I had actually pen and paper notes. I decided I would give it a shot. And I thought of a few things, not exactly answers to the questions that I'd had at the end of the outline, but getting there, really setting the stage for what's gonna come in December now. And that is actually finishing this outline. And I think it was really unfair of me to just focus on the fact that no, I didn't finish my outline. Again, it wasn't even that I didn't write every day, which was technically my goal. What really was disappointing me was the progress that I had made and I didn't feel like it was reflective of the time that I put into it in November. There were a lot of days that even if I did sit down and work on my outline, because I barely missed any days, I would spend an hour, two hours, three hours, and I just felt like I wasn't really making it that far. I wasn't making progress. I wasn't moving forward in the outline and finding the answers that I needed to find with the plot, with the characters. A lot of that I'm realizing in looking back over the month was because this is my first double POV. I had no idea how challenging that was going to be. So often where I would get stuck and really just feel like I didn't have control over my book was figuring out how these two plots we're supposed to run parallel and converge and parallel and converge because that's what they're doing the entire book. It's not like two completely separate POVs. The two characters are in the same place and they have a lot of times their paths are crossing. They have a relationship forming as well as all of their relationships forming with other characters in the book and you know, the struggles of the plot and all of that. That's really tough to write. <laughs> and with it being my very first double POV, I have no idea how to do this. I've never had to do this. I've read tons of multi POV books, but I've never actually sat down and tried to write more than one one main point of view. So th that was a big challenge. And I think I just didn't give myself enough credit for how much that was going to push me to my limits and, you know, challenge me. It's completely uncharted territory for me. And I actually feel very proud of that now that I'm looking back and realizing what I've accomplished. After last night, when I had a few more ideas, I'm definitely feeling more confident again about the project. I think it was just, you know, the highs and lows of NaNoWriMo were just really stressful at times. Even the highs could be stressful because I felt so excited about it and I wanted more time to work on it. And the daily writing thing, yeah, I have known this for a long time, but I am just not in a stage in my life where I can write every day consistently. It was a fun challenge for November, but even then I didn't accomplish it. I missed a few days. But what I did accomplish with that daily writing or almost daily writing was consistency. And that's what I want to do moving forward. I would really like to consistently write. Obviously there'll be moments in my life when I need to take off a few days at a time, but for the most part, when I'm in the middle of a stage of a draft, I really don't want to take off more than one, occasionally two days at a time. So for this month, I will be taking off some days at the end of the month for Christmas and for New Year's. That's one of those exceptions where I will probably take some consecutive days off. So I'm going to set myself a nice modest goal of actually finishing this outline, getting it perfected and ready to go to start drafting in 2022. And I definitely think that's something that I can accomplish. I feel much better about the story. It's really just a matter of you know, smoothing out some stuff, tying together some loose ends, finding a few answers here and there. But I do have the majority of the structure of the story written. There's a lot that I need to move around and change, but I already have ideas for what I need to do for that. So it should be fairly straightforward, she says. Let me know in the comments below how Nano went for you if, of course, you did Nano this year. And if you didn't, then I would love to know what you're currently working on, um, what stage of the process you're in. Are you outlining? Are you first drafting? My camera's tilting because my cat is standing on my makeshift tripod. I don't have a tripod right now. Um, I had to leave it in Paris. You don't even wanna know what you're stacked on right now. It's a pile that is topped with toilet paper. <laughs> 
Since moving to the US, I've become one of those people who buys their toilet paper in bulk, apparently. Anyway, let me know how your nano went and also let me know if there are any specific videos that you'd love to see from me in the future. Please do give this video a like if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos in the future because there will definitely be a lot more videos coming. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you very soon. <laughs> Bingley, don't chew my camera. Let's try that again. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you very soon in another writing video.